Alright, got a choppy, crafty episode for you right now. Uh, I'm uh, going to be doing some experimentation with the water mills. Looks like it's going to take a while. Thanks, Greg. Uh, but I've got enough resources. Uh, tin's mainly holding me back. But uh, I've got enough resources for seven water mills. I'm going to just make one and then start experimenting. I might, well, uh, I'm going to make a pair of them. Uh, they come out in twos. Uh, if you do not know, uh, you can make a generator using an RE battery, a machine block, and a furnace. Uh, that's the cheapest way to go, because uh, I was doing this one the longest time, an iron furnace. That's eight iron ingots to begin with, and three refined irons. So uh, unless it's expensive to cook things, uh, just making eight refined iron, you're saving three iron every time. Straight up. It's going to cost you some cobble, though. Alright, uh, anyways. Uh, just a bunch of generators. And water mill. Uh, it is just four aluminum plates and generator in the assembling machine. Uh, meanwhile... Our turtle is still digging away on that on that hollow hill, and uh, well, it's only actually a few hours after, so it's it it hasn't even gone very far. And you saw 31 diamonds. 31 diamonds without fortune. Without some other mod, Hadri Pokery, whatever have you. And it's only done three layers. And these three layers are full of mobs. Alright, better get out of here. <laughs> Well, so that's very cool. Um, I hope the turtle's still rolling. Uh, this program does have a problem if it runs out of fuel. It does have the option for a fuel chest, but uh, I had 3,000 fuel in there, so I should be okay, I imagine. I don't hear him ticking away. Well, I'll come back at a, another time and check the cobble count or something and make sure he's still running. But very cool, very cool. Uh, if you did not see the last video, I linked that uh, quarry program in the description uh, along with the YouTube page uh, that the author uh had put up to uh, you know explain it, and he does a time trial with a, uh, a buildcraft quarry. It's all good stuff. But uh oh shoot, yeah, yeah that'll crash your game every time. I'll... All right, we're back, and looks like we got our water mills. Uh, I'm going to set one down right here so we can begin our experimentation. Alright, uh, a few moments while I set this up. Alright, test number one. Which pipes hook up to it? And it looks like the item pipes are the only thing that hooks up to it. Uh, here's waterproof cobblestone and here's liquiduct. Looks like we're out of luck for being able to pump fluid into it. I know, now, I know how a, a water mill works. You pour water over the top of it, and it can collect a very small amount of MJ uh, if it's arranged right, a maximum of 0.25 millijoules per tick or something like that. A uh, very, very little amount, but uh, cheap considering it's free. Uh, enough batteries over time. It could could suit your needs if you have enough of them. And, you know, 
add that to solar and whatever. Speaking of solar, eh, screw it. Otherwise, you can put in water buckets and they will hold a charge. Boho, like magic. So, I assume it's producing a charge now. Must be. Take the water back out. Nope, nope. Uh, I guess that's for batteries. Okay. So, uh, we need some way in order to pump the water in and the empty buckets out to be refilled. If we want to go that route, that's uh, that's one millijoule per tick versus a lot less of automation and energy consumption. Cause I, imag I imagine there's going to be some need to power something in this setup. Uh, all right, just about ready to test this again. Doing it right this time. Okay, putting out zero EU. Uh, I made sure to do this up. An EU reader, pretty basic recipe. Uh, just a little glowstone. That's the only tricky thing. And a, and a, and a electronic circuit. Uh, but if you're this far in, in uh, if if uh, you're as far as me, you you already know what an electronic circuit is, I guess. <laughs> uh, but I want to test out a few things. Slap down this uh, extra MFE I had. Starting new measurements. Hmm. First time using this. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. Uh, it's one EU per tick. This might not be sensitive enough to get the results that I want. Because of what I want to do next is probably going to be really annoying. Oh god, that's not going to get that wet, is it? Need to be able to click on the water mill, I guess. Oh, it didn't even spread. Okay. Okay, not seeing any increase in uh, productivity doing both water and or doing buckets and water stream hard to tell if we're getting more from there yeah it's this uh, EU meet reader is not accurate enough as I would like it to be especially for this project Because if uh, you can get extra wa power off of adding water to a, you know, a tube-fed system, then that opens up some creative openings for me to try. Hello. Oh, it's out of water. Okay. And it's barely doing jack squat with just the water stream there. That's weird. We got a decimal for the first click on it. That must have been when it was just running out. But a decimal. It's not showing any more decimals. Hmm. And that's a standstill. 
Y O Y. This is supposed to work. Now there is the interesting phenomenon right there. Okay. Take the bucket out. Boom, getting power. Okay, so we can figure out kind of what we're doing off that then. 10% of the power output means I get to be lazy in my build. Well, I, I, I can't hate on, on the waterfall uh, technique because, I mean, it does look pretty cool. I am really tempted to do one. But I think as far as economy goes and reliability of power, I'm probably going to have to automate a water bucket system. All right. Um, so I'll get started on that. I'll catch you guys up when I'm a little bit further. All right. So it looks like the outcome of these experiments looks like I am if I want to use these which I don't have to. I only made the two. And then I can just turn the generators into solar panels. But if I'm going to use these I'm going to have to go with a bucket system. Because in order to run my setup during the night, it requires at least 15 EU per tick just for the ME system. If I could leave this plugged in all the time, that would pay for itself. But with a stack 15 high, that would be 30 recipes full, and that's four aluminium per so you can already see what I'm getting at that is a lot of resources um so that concludes this episode a uh, very wishy-washy ending to a very uh, very crafty episode but um, I hope you enjoyed it uh, I had fun recording it for you uh, I Thanks for watching, and have a good day. It's decided. Can't do the waterfall method. Uh, that's just way too low. I would need way too many in order to provide even just enough EU to run my stuff over here all night. But, thanks to science, I have a solution. Turtles. Alright, and I'm going to call the episode on that with a to be continued. This is Maximum Overexposure. Thanks for tuning in.